Hey guys, it's Shannon. And Evil Paul. Ooh. <laughs> Is that your best evil laugh? Maybe not my best, but it's what I got going this morning. <laughs> All right, welcome to the Collector Corner. That's right. Where today we are going to be opening up Disney World of Evil pins, and maybe, perhaps, Paul will have another evil laugh for us in a little bit. Maybe. We will see. Okay, so these are the collectible pin packs that you can get at Disney Parks. Um, we purchased ours online from other sellers, but um, these are a lot of fun because I think they usually have about 16 different pins per pack, and you get five pins in here. Yeah. So I'm going to kind of open this. They always kind of cover up one row of pins, which bothers me. Anyway. There are the pins we can get today. It's pretty cool because they are all villain pins. And that's awesome because you don't get a lot of like just strict villains things. So I'm excited about this. I'm going to let Paul pick a pack. Which one do you want to start with? I'm going to take this one back here. That one right there? Yep. Okay. And we're going to move these out of the way. Okay. Because usually the studio lights reflect off those bags. And We've got our pin board. Yeah. All right, and we're to just going to go one and one, right? Sure. All right, here we go. First pin. Come on, Stromboli. So close. Oh, no, I've got Madame Mim. That's cool, from the Black Cauldron. So, she is pretty cool. She's got crazy hair. I really don't remember this movie very much, or this story. I'm going to have to look this one up online, refresh my memory. But I do know it's Madame Mim. Yeah, I don't know that story at all, so I may be saying something stupid here, but I'm going to totally be her when I'm old. Okay. I like the gray hair. I like the pink dress. She just doesn't care. She's just like, I am living life and I don't care. That's true. That's true. And that's that's the best way to do it. And she kind of looks like a crazy cat lady, and I would like to be that too, so. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag goals. <laughs> all right. Next pin. Ooh, I have uh, Mother Gothel. Yes, you do. So these are all really cute to me. I like their little cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> they have the little, like, cheek blush going on. She is fun. Um, I actually kind of like her as a villain. She's, yes. She's like relatable, sort of. It's creepy. It's like Thanos. It's like, it, yeah. I, I kind of understand. So, so I feel like a lot of villains, <clears throat> especially a lot of Disney villains, are evil just for the sake of being evil. Yes. Mother Gothel had a little bit more of a backstory you could like yes. you said you could relate to her a little bit more while while she was still the villain you understood more of her motivation yes oh we have hades <laughs> so there's hades he is pretty awesome so he's like one of the people that's like you know kind of evil just for the sake of being evil yeah um you know i get it he was he was thrown out of mount or not thrown out he was he was banned from mount olympus because he's the lord of the underworld and you know but but really they're just not developing that story a whole lot yeah so but very cool i like his blue hair yep. i like his little tentacles <laughs> he and ursula are related they are all right next pin oh yay cruella she has a movie out right now she does so cruella deville yep she's a blurry cruella she is a blurry cruella now she is a non-blurry cruella there you go <laughs> so some of her evil was blurring out the camera. I guess, you know? yeah. So she's pretty cool, though. I really like her. She's awesome. She is. She's a fun character to meet in the theme parks, if you ever yes. go. Not a terribly sympathetic character, though. No. <laughs> All right, next up. Okay, we have the Queen of Hearts. Now, she's fun. She So her depiction in the Disney movie is not very... Uh, flattering. Flattering. Um, I really don't like her in the movie. Um, but I do like this this pin. It makes her look a whole lot better. Um, I like a lot of the new the new depictions of her. Yeah. That we're She's seeing. She's more like chibi. Like yeah. Cute, like glamorous or whatever. Yeah. So there she is, the Queen of Hearts. All right. Next pack. We're doing good so far. No duplicates. Yeah. Usually you don't get a duplicate <laughs> within one pack. No. Okay. Oh no! Stromboli. It's the one Paul wanted. That's he, okay. He has mouse ears. See, he has little yep. Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> That's just the pin back. There we go. So there is Stromboli. I don't really know this character at all. So I, I don't have any like, I can't picture him or. Yeah. So he was the puppet master in Pinocchio. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I like him. Uh, he reminds me of an elf. He lo he's like evil Santa. <laughs> he reminds me of, like, he'd be in the Lord of the Rings with uh, Gimli. Yeah, he could do that. Yeah, he'd be friends with yeah. him. So. I could see that. All right. Next up. Here we go. Oh, that's a big pin. Ooh. Ooh, it's Shere Khan. Awesome. So very, very cool. Uh, I love him. I love this expression on his face. I like the big nose. <laughs> it's just a big, he's, he's a skinny tiger. He's not eating very well, I guess. Um, Poor Shere Khan. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Khan, obviously meaning king or leader. Sheer meaning see-through. See-through tiger. A see-through leader? <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so very cool. Shere Khan. I like him. He looks like he's like really focused on something. Or he's cross-eyed. He looks like something's on his nose and yes. he's watching it. Okay, next pin. Oh, we have King Candy. Yes, we do. I said it right this time. Yep. <laughs> we opened these on our other channel before and who did I call him? The King of the Hearts? King of Hearts. No, that's King Candy. I still think he could be the King of Hearts. No, it's King Candy. <laughs> have some candy. Okay. <laughs> He's my favorite. <laughs> I love candy. Okay, so there is King Candy. All right, next up we have, ooh, 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 the Evil Queen from Snow White. So she's really cool. I like that she's holding, like, her cape out. Like, wow. Look at me <laughs> in all my magnificence. Yes. She's awesome. She's a really cool villain. Yep. Um, I like her. And I know we've said it in a lot of our videos, meeting her, like, in person at the theme parks is fun. Yep. They, she interacts very well. Okay, this is our last one. Oh, good, it's another new one, you sure can is. tell. We have Chernabog. Chernabog! So, uh, I really like this pin. It has little cutouts on it. Yeah. So, there is Chernabog. Very cool. Yeah. Let's give Chernabog mouse ears, too. There we go. <laughs> mouse ears. That's cute. Day at the theme park. Yeah. Okay. Pick a pack. Take this one. We went ten without any duplicates. Yes. All right. Next up. Duplicate. Ooh, oh, Jafar. <laughs> Jafar. I figured we were going to yep. have a duplicate. Jafar in his Jafar outfit, as opposed to his genie outfit, which would be Jafini. Or <laughs> his snake outfit, which would, would be Jafobra. Jafobra. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Jafobra. Alrighty. I could totally picture that being a name. I like Jafar. I like Jafar, too. He's a great villain. He's just so evil. Yep. Plus, his movie is awesome. Yep. We watched it, like, a thousand times, because one of our we sons did. loved it. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, our first duplicate. We have the Queen of, um, not the Queen of Hearts. Evil it's Queen. Evil Queen. Thank Young. you. We are still going the one. Queen and one. of Evilness. Yeah. Oh, Lady Tremaine. So there she is. She's cool. Um, I like her green earrings. She's mean. She's got the Victorian <laughs> outfit on with the little cane. She's like, I'm not mean. I'm just misunderstood. Well, she kind of is. I think. I think Cinderella is really the, the villain of that story. <laughs> Unpopular opinion there. <laughs> Alrighty. She just wants her daughters to marry well. Let's just move on. Well, Cinderella is one of her daughters now, too, so. Mm. Okay. <laughs> he looks fun upside down. He kind of does. He kind of looks like a Christmas ornament. It's a Stromboli duplicate. Yes. I'm going again. Yeah, go again. Last one in here. Oh, good. I have another oh, new one. Oh, it's the, the dude from Hunchback of Notre Dame. What's his name? I don't know. Dude is not his name. What's his name? Yeah, actually, yeah, because that, that's in, in France, so it would be Le Dude. <laughs> Le Dude. Le Dude. Um, I can't think of his name. I'm going to have to look it up. Monsieur Croissant. No, that's not his name. I don't know his name. Yeah, you can look it up. You've got your smartphone there. All right. I wonder if I ask Siri who the dude from Hunchback of Notre Dame is, if she'd know. Oh, uh, you can try it. <laughs> Should I? Let's do it. Sure. Okay, go ahead. We got Siri. Go. Hey, Siri. What's the dude in Hunchback of Notre Dame's name? 
Here's what I found from Wikipedia.org. <laughs> she said Quasimodo, was a which... was 20-year-old hunchback and the bell ringer of Notre Dame. Siri knows things, but that's not the dude that I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, we have Maleficent, which is part Magnificent. She's cool. I like her staff with the big crystal ball at the top. She's got this greenish skin thing going on. And I love I love her robe because it's not tattered, but it looks like it is. And then, of course, she has the headpiece on, which is really cool. So, Maleficent. Paul's probably waiting for me to go now. I'm still looking. Yep. What's his name? Would he be Claude Frollo? Probably. That's probably it. Is that, that sounds right. Sounds right. Claude Frollo. Claude Frollo? Yeah. That's what we're going with. Yep. Okay. Whoa, pins are falling out. Okay. Okay. I have, oh no, King Candy. King Candy. Okay, we only need two more pins for the full set. Oh, wow. That's one of them right there. Oh, Gaston. Gaston. No, no pin looks like Gaston. Who else are we missing? I'm trying to find He's out. He's got Mickey ears, like Gaston. <gasps> Scar. Oh, okay, we Scar. Scar. So, very cool. There's Gaston. <clears throat> Gaston is awesome. He is. He is. I like his little gloves. Okay, so we're looking for Scar. Scar. I have a Cherbog. Cherbog. I'm going again. Yeah, go again. I Scar. have Shere Khan. Oh, so close. It was a, a great cat, just not the one it we needed. It was. All right. We have a cat trying go to again. get into the studio. Go again. Are you going to let the cat in the studio? I will. Just a second. We have Mother Gothel. All right. Come on, we need Scar. Okay, I got a Stromboli. Didn't get left out. I got myself a Christmas person. There you go. All right, the cat wants yeah, in. Yeah, I'll let It's crying. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll go slow because Paul's letting the cat in the studio. All right, you might have seen one of... A little hint there. Oh, this is, what is her name? Lady Tremaine. Yes, Lady Tremaine. Lady Tremaine? Yeah, Lady Tremaine. She doesn't look right all of a sudden. That doesn't sound right. Okay, you're up. Okay, two pins left. Come on, Scar. Okay. Oh no, Maleficent. You wanna go again since I went? No, you go. Okay. Last one, come on, it's Scar. Come on. Does it look like Scar? I don't know. I don't know. It's not. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's Hunchback Dude again. Yeah. Claude Frollo. Claude Frollo. There you Man, go. Man, we're missing one yep. for the collection. All right. So, there we go. <laughs> Paul's using manual zoom. Manual zoom. <laughs> so, 15 out of 16 is not bad. No, that's not bad at all. All right. We've got to pick favorites. Okay. So, who's your um, favorite? Hmm. Who's your favorite? Guest on. Gaston. Yep, All right. Right down here. Go with Gaston. I'm going to go with... Who's the evilest of all? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Paul. I'm going to go with Chernabog. It's my favorite. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, I'm going to go with Chernabog. Okay, give us your best fill and laugh. <laughs> the cat is looking at yeah, Paul like he's lost his mind. I don't know. I don't have an evil laugh kind of thing. I don't... That's pretty know. good. Yeah. I don't know. I'll take it. All right. Great. All right, how about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That'll make you part of the Collector Corner Club where Shannon has goals to be Madam Mim. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.